Hey, what's up? I'm Rakima. Welcome to Detail Dream, but the primary focus is to expose you to the expansive world of luxury goods for yourself and your home. I hope you all had an amazing day yesterday, whether that means being with family or just catching up on some sleep and relaxing. A good day is subjective, just like my picks for the best luxury candle brands of 2021, which is what today's conversation is about. Everyone thinks different, and I respect the opinions of others because they're just that, opinions. I'm not a professor of candles, nor do I claim to be, but over this past year, I've learned so much about luxury candles and what makes each of these brands more unique from the others. Like the many different types of waxes and my preference is on how strong I would like a candle to be. And I cannot forget all of you who leaves incredible comments on these videos. You say I give very good recommendations and found some pretty amazing brands through these recommendations and I can't begin to tell you how gratifying that makes me feel. I also learned a lot from you. The detailed channel continues to grow and the awareness of these amazing luxury brands continues to grow as well. So thank you to each and every one of you. Now let's get to what you came here for. My personal picks for the seven best luxury candle brands of 20 2021. Okay, now what would a best list be without a couple honorable mentions? They're like the bonuses to a lineup that are just as appreciated. And who doesn't love a good bonus? For me, these honorable mentions are brands that I need more time with, but the candles that I do have from them has proven to be among the best. Also, if you're wondering, they aren't in any particular order. The first honorable mention goes to Lafco. This is a luxury brand I really want to explore more of. I only have their Frosted Pine candle that I reviewed in my Pine Scent video. I was really impressed by their scent and the vessel. Lafco is a very promising brand with some very good scents. And I know many of you are fans of Lafco, so expect to see a lot more content on them. The next honorable mention goes to Preston Conrad candles. I haven't gotten to the review of these candles yet, but on the initial burns, I found them to be some good luxury scents with great performance that's on par with top luxury brands. I will definitely get around to doing a full review on these candles and the different products from Preston Conrad because I want you all to be aware of this brand and how good it is. And for the last honorable mention, that goes to Otherland candles. Now this brand makes some really superb candles that I consider to be essential. From the colorful vessels of their homestead and adorned collections with artistic labels to the beautiful scents that unfolds into something you wouldn't mind smelling every day. Otherland is certainly a brand I will continue to recommend. Slowly but surely, I will have every Otherland scent. Okay, now here we go with the seven luxury brands I consider to be the absolute best of 2021. These brands I have a personal connection to with the journey they take me on through their scents. These are brands I will always need in my collection, no matter what, no exceptions. If I run out of one scent, I buy two more to replace it. And that's how much I love these candles. I was going over this list and noticed these brands makes for a very good, well-rounded collection. There's a little something for everyone on this list, so let's get to it. These are in order leading up to my absolute favorite brand, which may surprise some of you. Starting off with number seven, the all-around best everyday candle goes to PF Candle Co. I know many of you love stronger candles, but most of the time, those stronger candles come with a higher price. PF has done well with me personally. Could they be stronger? Yes, of course, but they aren't trying to be the strongest candle out there. If you're lighting expensive candles every day, it will not preserve them for a very long time. So you would want something that can offset some of that cost. And PF always have sales. At the time of this recording, I believe their standard size candles are on sale for $15. I love burning these candles because I don't have to think about timing as much as I do with the more luxury candles I have. PF has a very minimal, simplistic approach to an everyday candle. And if you are working in an office environment, maybe try their diffusers. I believe I have every scent of theirs, but I would have to say the teakwood and tobacco is still my favorite with amber and moss coming in as a close second. Personally, PF Candle Co. has the perfect everyday subtle candles. Coming in at number six, Loda Serafina is one of those brands that provides what I like to say the full package. The colorful design work on their ceramic vessels are stunning that extends to their packaging. You can tell a lot of work and planning went into more than just making beautiful fragrances. There's no mistake in Loda Serafina candles when you see them. And of course you can say the same when you smell them too. The more time I spent with these scents, the more I found myself reaching for them. Especially the Tama and the Reverie candle. I will link the full review I made on these scents, but I will briefly say, the Tama scent is my favorite from this brand that's very relaxing. I'm almost finished with it and will have to pick up another. And I didn't think I would like a berry scent as much as I do, but Reverie has changed my mind. It's a delicious berry scent. Lotus Serafine candles will always have a spot in my collection. Wow, would you look at that? We are already at the top five. It's, it's about to get good. Okay, for the fifth best brand, I have chosen 
Evermore London. One of the best performing candles you will ever come across. I believe I said in my review that it became an instant favorite of mine and that still holds true. There's something very unique about these candles that draws me in emotionally. I guess you can say in a way they're very emotional candles. I mean, it could be the dark rapeseed wax in this beautiful pitch black vessel that looks very alluring by the way when it's lit. Speaking from my favorite scent, the moon candle, I am drawn to burning it in the evening or in a very dim lit room. There's a bit of a dark aspect to it with one of the best hot throws I have ever experienced. But what I mean by dark is that these scents are very mature. The thing is, I never even planned on buying any candles from this brand, but after I smelled them in the store, there was no way I was passing up on them. A little pricey at $82 for the medium sized candle, but it's well worth it for the performance in the scents especially for a sustainable candle. That's a huge plus. This fourth brand is quite a special one. It's the essence of luxury and is a staple in my collection. That undoubtedly is the Atelier of Fornicetti. These candles needs no introduction. When I think of a high-end luxury candle, this is what I want. I want a wow factor, something that will turn heads, something that will stop someone mid-sentence to ask, what candle is that? From my review of the Otto scent, I can say many of you agree as well. From the comments and the DMs I got on Instagram, this is a candle that's well worth that high price tag. I mean, just the porcelain vessel alone is captivating and adding a beautiful fragrance on top of that is what makes Fornicetti candles my special selection. Now you may be thinking, if it's so good, then why isn't it in your top three or your overall favorite? And you're right, it was a tough decision to place Fornicetti at number four. But the only reasoning behind this placement came down to two factors. One is the price. I would simply not buy $200 plus candles on a regular basis. It would just take away from the other candles I have to review for this channel. This is a every once in a while candle to burn. Which brings me to my second factor. Since this candle is very expensive, it's something I would not burn often. Which brings down the usability factor. As time goes on, my thoughts will probably change and I would be burning 480 candles on a daily basis, but no time soon. But these are candles you definitely will want to experience at least once. Now, what could be better than the almighty Fornicetti? What is my third favorite brand? That honor goes to La Labo. I know I haven't reviewed these candles on my channel yet, but these soy candles are exceptional with high quality fragrance and the performance will have you speechless. I don't want to give away too much because I want to save everything for a proper review. But the hot and cold throw I get from these candles are something I've never experienced from a soy candle before. The price is what you'll pay for your average high-end luxury candle at $78 and the quality is well worth it. You may be thinking by looking at the vessel that it's a little thin, but I'm telling you, it's a thick glass. I almost feel if you dropped it from a reasonable height, <laughs> it will not break. And by reasonable, I don't mean from a two-story building. My two favorite scents are Santal 26 and Petit Grand. 21. I just recently picked up another Santal candle because I cannot be without it. What you get from the Labo candles are well deserving of that number three spot. Okay, here we go with my top two favorite candle brands of the year. If you watch these videos weekly, you can probably guess which brands they are, but where did I place them? These top two brands provokes the most emotion with scents that exudes the best, both in quality and fragrance, with vessels that are unmistakable when you see them. And many of you love, love, love these brands and found out about them through this channel. So my second favorite brand of the year is going to be a shocker, and that goes to Sear Trudon. Let me tell you, it was tough not making Trudon my number one favorite brand. It comes in at the number two spot this year for much of the same reasons I have mentioned with Fornicetti. Even though a standard size Trudon costs half the price as a Fornicetti, I still consider them to be in that special category of candles I want to preserve for as long as I can. Don't get me wrong, I can run through a Trudon candle with no problem, but there are still candles that I wouldn't burn every day, probably once or twice a week. I want to keep that exclusive aspect to them. I want it to feel special every time I go to bring out one of those mint colored boxes. Boxes. When you burn a Trudon, there is nothing quite like it. Something I dislike a lot is getting used to a certain thing. And that can be many things, but in this case, if I'm constantly burning the same brand of candle, I will get used to it and the scents will become sort of ordinary. And I don't want that for our Trudon candles. I'm sure many of you who tell me you love your Trudon candles know exactly where I'm coming from. I don't know what I would do if I ever got used to my favorite candle, the Madeline scent. Maybe I'm overthinking it and need to embrace burning them on a daily basis. Trudon has legendary, extraordinary scents that are amazing like Cyrano's, Ernesto, Balmoral, Abdel Qadar, Positano, just to name a few. A luxury candle collection isn't fully complete without a Sierra Dawn candle in there somewhere. As far as my number one favorite brand of the year, the MVP if you will. You've probably seen this coming. Harlem Candle Co has the best 
all around candle you can buy for the price. I even had to bring out a fresh candle for this one. I honestly cannot get enough of them. And I get so many of you telling me how much you adore Harlem candles. These soy candles are top tier and rivals the more luxury brands. I believe I have every scent except for two, the Savoy and the Brownstone candle. I even have doubles of some of my faves because they sell out often. There is not a bad scent I have ever smelled from Harlem candles. I mean, yes, of course, there are those candle scents I don't naturally gravitate towards, but that's with every brand. I have my personal preferences. The thing I found unique about this brand is that every candle performs exactly the same. You would not find where one scent performs better than the other. These are candles I can burn on an ongoing basis. I almost burn them as much as I do PF candles. My favorite scents are Langston, which is also a fan favorite, and Ellington. These two scents are very warm and masculine, but also contains elements of notes that makes you want to burn them every day. Terry has done an impressive job with this brand. Expect to see a lot more from Harlem Candle Co. in 2022. I'm especially looking forward to reviewing the Seneca scent in collaboration with the Met. So these were my top luxury brands of 2021, all hand selected by yours truly. Again, all subjective. So if there is anything that you would have changed, feel free to let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. I'm always open to seeing your favorite picks. There's a lot of really interesting candle brands out here and there's still a lot that I have to explore. And it is honestly hard to go wrong with any of them because if you like it, you should burn it. Well, that's gonna be it for the best luxury candle brands of 2021. I look forward to being a great source for luxury goods in the coming future. As always, thank you so much for being here with me. I will catch you next year.